What's good YouTube? DM Gaming here. Guys, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't be a point Dexter. Get out of the portal and get on and become a five star member. Also, before today's video, guys, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor AEOAH. Guys, if you are looking for college ultimate team coins to buy and or sell, use promo code DM Gaming for 3% off of your purchase. So, let's get into the game. We want to welcome you to today's game of uh, the top ranked SMU Mustangs finally at home after having a stint on the road and they are facing off against the new ACC newcomer, the Liberty Flames and Liberty is 0-2 so far on this season. The Mustangs undefeated coming off of a big win against Florida State in Tallahassee and what are your thoughts on this game? Well, SMU Man, I tell you what, looking at them over the past three years, haven't done the best job of playing at home. They seem to struggle a lot at home. Hopefully this isn't the case here. And we're ready for kickoff as the Liberty Flames kick off to the SMU Mustangs. Number 15, Lavender, brings back the kickoff down at the 16-yard line where the Mustangs will take over first and 10. LJ Martin is their workhorse. He is the guy that they look to to keep balance in this offense. They run a very high-powered offense, but that run game is sneakily explosive, averaging about 8.5 yards per carry, almost a first down every single time he touches the football. And SMU, ranked second in the nation, comes out in their spread set, stacked wide receivers. Jenkins the, gives the ball off to the poke, and he gains a few yards on the play three yards to gain brings up second down and seven from the 20 they're going up tempo hand out to poke again he has a block he breaks it upfield before he's finally taken down at the 34 yard line and here they go again in that up tempo offense if they really like to get into this whenever they see something happening and you see Jen jennings drops back and throws it intercepted on the play liberty for the interception could be a pick six and it is wow more for Liberty. Welcome to the ACC with a pick six on the opening drive. And guys, I hate to say it, but that's something that we kind of see normally from this offense. It's not even much of a surprise. Not even really a big surprise for the Mustangs. This is an extremely high-powered offense. Coach knows, hey, I am going to throw interceptions. He tells the quarterbacks that it's going to happen. Take those chances, keep playing football, and the good will outweigh the bad. Definitely something that the Mustangs have, we have seen them bounce back from. But very uncharacteristic playing against an 0-2 Liberty Flames team. Well, Liberty is new to the ACC. This is SMU's second uh, conference game, but you definitely don't want to overlook this team. Jennings in the gun, drops back, hands off to Polk. Polk has some room to run. He gains about 15 yards on the play going to bring up a first and 10 from the 39 yard line they come out in their stack set mustangs are poised to strike they always like to kind of punch back whenever they're punched and he throws a ball deep has a man open and it is complete down to the 21 yard line that is that huge big play opportunity that the mustangs are notorious for having Jennings in the gun, drops back, has time to throw, tries to scramble, and he is taken down on the play. Nine-yard loss is going to bring up a second and 19 from the 30-yard line. Yeah, Liberty was able to get to him. Their receivers just weren't able to get open on the play. Jennings in the gun, drops back again, and he is sacked a second time. Can you say momentum is on the side of the Flames right now? Maybe they overlooked them just a little bit, but Liberty seems to be coming out and controlling this one right here. Third and 27, hand off to Polk, and he gains 10 yards on the play. Kind of makes that, that first down marker not so far away. Brings up fourth and 17 from the 28. The Mustangs come out in the shotgun formation. Jennings drops back. Little high snap, brings it in, throws it deep, and it is incomplete. Looks like in and out of the hands of the wide receiver, he had a hand on it, but it got knocked loose at the last minute, and the Liberty Flames are going to take over. First and 10 from the 28. 
Liberty's come out focused in this. We talked about how SMU just tends to get a slow start when playing at home. They don't play their first best football at home. And it's showing right here with Liberty in control of this ball game. They definitely need to change something fast. Otherwise, this game could get out of hand. Liberty comes out in the shotgun formation. Quarterback gets the snap. He sits in the pocket. He scrambles. Has some room to run. Green grass in front of him. And what a huge gain on the play. And that's going to bring up a first and 10 for the Flames. Ball at the 48-yard line. Quarterback looks to the sideline. Gets some checks. See a lot of motioning going on. Back goes in motion to the right. Quarterback drops back. He sits in the pocket. Has some pressure. Gets rid of it to a wide open receiver down the sideline before he's finally taken down for a big gain on the play down to the Mustang 27. And they're going with that up-tempo offense as well. Not as fast tempo as the Mustangs, but getting them back to the line of scrimmage, looking to the sideline, getting the play, and going from there. First and 10 for the Flames before he is taken down for a one-yard gain. And they're still going with that up-tempo. Looking to the sideline to get a play. Quarterback in the center. Man goes in motion into the backfield. He's going out to the right. He throws it into the flats to him. And he doesn't get much of anything on that play as he was caught very quickly on that. And they're going right back to that up-tempo. A small gain on the play. Now they check to an empty set. And, hey, this is, this is what you see from a lot of spread teams in the college football nowadays. Quarterback scrambles out. He finds a man, but it's going to be short of the first down. It's going to bring up a fourth and three from the 20, and the Flames are set to kick the extra point, or the field goal attempt, sorry. Trying to go ahead by 10. The kick is up, and it is through the uprights. Wow. Unexpected here. Should we put the Mustangs on upset alert? It's still in the first quarter, and Liberty clearly in control of this ball game, up 10-0. to Lavender back to receive the kick for the Mustangs, and he brings it out. He has some room to run, and that closes up quickly as he's taken down at the 24-yard line. I expect to see the Mustangs come out and take a shot here as they are notorious for doing that. And quarterback fakes the handoff, and he has room to run. Jennings finally brought down 13-yard gain on the play. It'll bring up first and 10 for the Mustangs. Ball at the 37-yard line. Come out in their infamous spread veer and shoot formation and they run the replay again Jennings on the play again gets a big shot before he's taken down just shy of the first down second and inches ball on the 47 yard line they come out in their stack formation he hands it off to Martin who plows ahead for a four yard gain on the play and that's going to be good enough for a Mustang first down and they're going a little bit up tempo here first and ten Hand off to Martin. Martin bounces it to the outside. Cuts it back upfield. Rolls off of a defender for a six-yard gain on the play. And they love giving him the football and like to see him work. Getting him in space and him running over defenders. Second and four. Hand off to Martin. And that's nothing doing. He's actually tackled for a loss on the play. And that's going to bring up a third and seventh for the Mustangs on the 47-yard line. Expect SMU to take a shot here. You have to do something to get your offense going because right now in this first quarter, it's not looking good. Jennings in the gun. Hand off to Polk. Polk has room to run. He breaks a tackle. Gains 14 yards on the play. And they are going up-tempo. First and 10 from the 38. Jennings in the gun. Drops back. Has time to throw. Scrambles. And he is sacked. In the backfield, their third sack of the day for a seven-yard loss on the play. It's going to bring up a second down and 17 ball at the 45-yard line. Jennings drops back, pump fakes, find a man open. Number 16 is their go-to guy in this game so far as he gains seven yards on that play. Third down and 10 from the 38 in the gun going up tempo. Jennings drops back, finds a man deep, hits him on the sideline. It's Coatsart again on the pass. Brings it in at the 13-yard line, and the Mustangs got a little momentum right now. Jennings throws to the flats on the RPO. Nothing doing right there. Coates Art's going to be tackled at the line of scrimmage. He actually loses two yards on that play. Second and 12, drops back, hand off to the running back. Pope gets the ball, has a blocker, skates free, almost scores a touchdown before he is drilled down at the two-yard line. They're going with their turbo hurry up on first and goal. Hands it off to Polk again. Has a block. Makes a man miss into the end zone for the touchdown. 
SMU, I'm telling you, when they get ahead of steam, they are going. Liberty did a good job of kind of holding them there, but one thing you don't want to do is get this Mustang offense firing on all cylinders. That was an amazing drive. 12 plays, 2 minutes and 24 seconds off of the drive right there for 76 yards in the score. The kick goes back. Liberty's going to bring it out, and they're going to get decent field position almost to the 20-yard line. Now this Mustang defense has to come out and stop this Liberty Flames offense, try to kill their momentum because offensively, they didn't have any issues driving the ball down the field. They hand off to their running back, and he gains four yards on the play, and that's going to bring them into the first quarter. The SMU Mustangs trailing in this one by three. You look at the passing yards, SMU's up there with 70 passing yards, 70 rush yards. They're running a very balanced offense right now. And offensively, we know that they're explosive, but Liberty is definitely kind of in control of this game right now. We'll see how the Mustangs do defensively here. Second and six, Liberty hands off the ball, gives it to the running back, and he is stuffed in the backfield. No gain on the play. That's going to bring up a big third down. Mustangs defense has not been that well on third down. We'll see how they do here. Liberty in the shotgun. Quarterback gets the ball. He hands off to the running back. He has a lane. He breaks it to the outside. No one's there. Bad angle right there. He is going to spring free. No one's going to catch him. Rumbling, stumbling down to pay dirt. Touchdown, Liberty Flames. Very, very uncharacteristic of the Mustang defense right there to give up such a big play on the ground. We did see them struggle with the run against A&M earlier this year. They did a really good job of containing it against Florida State for the most part, aside from some quarterback scrambles, but that is by far the biggest run against the Mustangs in the past three years. Victor Venn, the ball carrier, 84 rushing yards already in this game in the first half. And then the flag on the play, so this kick is going to go out of the back of the end zone. The Mustangs will take over first and 10, ball at the 25-yard line. They are trailing by 10 in this ball game, and wow. I know the Mustangs don't play that well at home, but oh my gosh. Are you, are you nervous or are you poised? Let's see how they respond. Jennings in the shotgun, first and 10 from the 25. Takes a snap, drops back, has a man, takes a shot. He's open. He completes it to his man, and he is going to score right back in the face of the Liberty Flames. A Mustang touchdown. Poses for the Heisman, and I'll tell you what. If these receivers continue to play the way that they're playing, Shetron and, and, and Coates are, those are their go-to guys. Those are their go-daddies on the edge, and they make big plays when it matters the most. The extra point is good, but there's a flag on the play. It's going to be roughing the kicker. That play looks like it's, that penalty is going to be accepted and forced on the drive. And now the kicker that they struggled with is going to be able to put this one out the back of the end zone. And we'll see where the defense is able to do on this drive after giving up such a huge run play. You look at the rush turns from both teams. Liberty with six rushes, 103 yards after breaking that big one. The Mustangs a little bit more methodical in their rush game. 15 rushes, 76 yards on the day. Liberty in the shotgun. Quarterback gets the ball, handoff to the running back who just broke a big one, has some poise, breaks a tackle before he's taken down. Looked like he gained a lot more yards on that, but it's only going to be a one-yard gain. Second and nine, they're going with the up-tempo, looking to the sideline, getting the play. Ball on the 26-yard line. Quarterback takes a snap, drops back. He has pressure, throws it, checks off to his back, who actually loses yards, tackle for a loss. Third and 11, up-tempo. Ball at the 24, quarterback making some checks. Looks to the sideline, gets the snap, he drops back. He has time to throw, he releases it, and it is incomplete. He had a man wide open there, and he it's just dropped. Yeah, he didn't look that one in. Perhaps he felt the defense around them, and man, I tell you what, they wish they had that one back. Lavender back to receive the punt for the Mustangs, runs into his own player, and that limited his gain right there. It's going to be a first and 10 from the 48. Jennings in the gun. Martin in the back. Hands off to Martin. He has some space. Cuts up field. Big gain of six yards on the play. And that's going to bring up a second and four for the Mustangs. They're going to go to the huddle. No up-tempo so far. Ball at the 43-yard line. Yeah, that, that Martin, I'm telling you, man, when he starts to get going, it's going to be real special to see what he does this season. Jennings making some checks at the line. 
Drops back in the pocket. He releases a pass. A wide open receiver tiptoed down the sideline. It's Shetron again for a Mustang first down. And here we go with the up tempo right here that we're notorious for seeing for the Mustangs. Jennings this time hands off to Martin. Makes a move behind his blockers. And he is wrestled down finally for about an eight yard gain on the play. And that'll bring up a second and second and two. Second down and two, ball at the two-yard line. Hand off to Martin up the middle, patiently waiting behind his blockers before he goes in for the touchdown. SMU strikes again. LJ Martin, the ball carrier, six rushes so far on the day, and he's been pretty productive for the Mustangs. RJ Martin, he doesn't have, LJ Martin, I'm sorry, he doesn't have the best speed. He, he's not the fastest running back that you're going to see. Um, but he is a workhorse. He's going to get you those tough yards. And really, when you have a back who can consistently get you 8 to 10 yards a carry, that's good for you. Liberty back to receive the kickoff. And he runs in the traffic for he is slammed down at the 14-yard line where the Flames are going to come out for a first and 10 on this drive. They're in the shotgun formation. They're star back to the right of the quarterback. Quarterback is going to get the ball handoff to the running back. He tries to bounce it outside before the speed of the Mustang defense finally collapses on him. They go up tempo here on second down and 10. Ball at the 14-yard line. Checking to the coach on the sideline to get the play. He's going to get the ball. Drops back into the pocket. Releases the pass. It's complete to the tight end. And he's finally brought down for a moderate gain on the play to bring up a big third down and four for the Mustangs. Can they stop them here? Quarterback's making some checks. Ball at the 20 yard line. Quarterback drops back, has time to throw, releases over the middle, number 81, catches it, and he's close to midfield on a big first down, and that's gonna bring up a first down for the Flames. Ball at the 44 yard line. Quarterback, once again, making checks. It's loud in here. It's rocking. They got Gerald J. Ford Stadium on their feet. He drops back. He pump fakes. He has time to throw. Releases it downfield. It's picked off. It's intercepted by the Mustangs. The corner has it. He has room to run. One man to beat. Tries to make a move. And it's the quarterback who saves the day and prevents the pick six. Kyron Chambers, the big time strong safety, was formerly a cornerback that they transferred or changed positions to strong safety in the offseason. Comes up with a huge interception there. Jennings in the gun, hands off to Martin. He has room to run. Nine, eight. They're going to give him nine yards on the play. It'll bring up a second and one. Ball at the 16 yard line. Jennings in the gun, hands off to Martin again. He goes and Phil makes a move and he stumbles. Did he get in? No, they're going to mark him just shy at the one-yard line. Huge game for the Mustangs, and they're going to come out first and goal from the one. Jennings again in the gun. Martin at the running back position. Hand off, untouched, into the end zone. <laughs> Late hit right there, but it's gonna, they're not going to call it. That's going to be a touchdown SMU. Very good job of the Mustangs answering back on that. The, the, the interception right there was really, really big. Much needed for them. For them to answer back as well, oh my gosh, that says a lot about the grit of this Mustang team. This offense is always ready to strike, and the defense gives them the opportunity to do it the go-ahead lead. The number two SMU Mustangs up 28-17. Two minutes and 30 seconds left to go in the first half of play as they kick off to the Liberty Flames. Number eight's going to bring it out, and he runs into traffic once again, ignoring his blockers. I don't know the concept there. I don't either, but right now the offensive production has shifted to the favor of the Mustangs, and we hope that after that interception, this defense can come out and do the same thing again. First and 10 for Liberty, hand off to the back. He tries to get it to the outside. He makes a man miss, but he didn't get anything as the pursuit for the Mustangs was on par and stops him for no gain. Second and 10 for the 14. Back goes in motion. Quarterback gets the ball. Pump fakes to the back. He throws it to the flats. Number 22 gets the ball. He gets upfield, and he is hammered down. Big gain on the play right there. Just shy of the first down. Brings up a third and one. Third down and one from the 23-yard line. Quarterback looks to the sideline. Gets the check. Hands off to running back. He's patient. He makes a move. Is that enough for the first down? I can't tell just yet. And it looks like it was. It's going to bring up a first down and 10 for the Flames. Ball at the 25-yard line. Quarterback drops back, and he is sacked in the backfield. Seven-yard loss on the play. Huge play by Mr. Kilgore, an anchor in this defensive front 
for the Mustangs. Alex Kilgore is definitely a guy that you got to watch at that linebacker position. They were very happy to have him back this year, and he's proven his worth so far in this game. Second and 17, the quarterback drops back. Nobody open, and he is going to take another sack. The Mustangs' second sack on the day. Huge loss, and yet another third and long. And I tell you what, if you're a Mustang fan, you are on the edge of your seat every third down because the, they have... We'll say this. The defense has given up a lot on third downs. Third and 25 from the 10. Quarterback gets the ball. Hands off to the running back. They run the ball right here. Very uncharacteristic of any team to be that backed up on third and 25 to run the football. Maybe because of what happened earlier with the big run and you're expecting pass and you give it to the running back. But that one right there didn't work. Punts off to Lavender, and there is a flag on the play, and they are going to call roughing the kicker on the defense. And <laughs> Wow, you can't make this up. Brandon Booker roughing the kicker. That is going to give Liberty a first down, a new set of downs on the play. That's what we talked about, man, with this defense on third down. You know, and even though Liberty didn't make the play, the Mustangs kind of shot themselves in the foot right there. The quarterback in the center drops back and throws it to number 85 for a short gain on the play. Calling a timeout. It's going to bring up a second down and six. Ball at the 31-yard line. Less than a minute to go in the first half. Liberty down 17-28 to the Mustangs. Quarterback drops back in the shotgun. Unleashes it downfield. It is complete. He definitely had coverage right there, but just didn't get his head around to make a play. Liberty scores a huge gain. On and now it's first down for them at the Mustang 42-yard line. Coming out an empty set. Liberty gets the ball, drops back, hits a man to the sideline. He keeps his feet in bounce, and he gains six yards on the play. Decent gain right there. Second down and four from the 36. Quarterback drops back in the shotgun, hits the same man on the same play for the same completion. Another, no, no, that one's actually going to be marked out of bounds. Brings up third and four. Big third down right here. You need to get them off the field here. They're in the empty set. Quarterback drops back, hits the sideline. This time he does stay in bounds, and they have ran the same play. That looks like the same play. Yeah, that was definitely the same play three times in a row. You got to stop there right now because they're tic tacking down the field. Quarterback drops back. This time they cover it. Almost intercepted, and they ran the same play four times in a row. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Second down and 10. Ball at the 31-yard line. Liberty in the shotgun. Drop Quarterback drops back. Has time to throw. He's going to scramble, and he's sacked on the play. That's his third sack on the day, and that's going to bring up yet another huge third and 19. I tell you what, this Mustang defense has to get better at getting teams off the ball off the field on third down the quarterback scrambles before he slides down possibly could have made a guy miss he was threatening to get that first down but he puts his team in field goal range where they'll attempt the field goal kicked here on fourth and ten the kick is up and it is through the uprights as liberty decreases that margin from down to eight right now two seconds left they're gonna kick it off smu is gonna call a fair catch and we can kind of guess what's going to happen next. Yeah, yeah, you can kind of guess what's going to happen next. Mustangs definitely going to take a shot right here. We'll see how it goes for him. Jennings in the gun, first and 10 from the 25. He drops back, has time to throw. He pump fakes, and then he unleashes it. A wide open man down the field. It's Sheraton, and he is going to take it to Pater. Touchdown, SMU. Shetron has been the go-to in this game so far. Jennings had all day to throw, was able to get a pump fake to freeze the safety, and he just unleashes it. There was one safety high on that play, and he was left wide open. And the Mustangs score right before the half. The extra point is up, and it is good, and they go back to a 15-point lead in this game. Yeah, man, what a first half. I wouldn't say it's the Mustangs' best first quarter but they definitely bounced back and had a lot better second quarter you look at the rushing comparison 93 to 113 15 to 21 rushes one touchdown to three it seems like the smu mustangs really got a grasp of things after liberty broke that big run right here that you're seeing that went what 70 80 yards my gosh he's looking back at him there was no one close 
But since then, they've really tightened up on defense. They've got an interception, a couple of very key sacks. They had a third down and 23 that they, you know, ended up holding them on. And Liberty went to punt, and all of a sudden, you know, flag on the play. So that gave them a little bit more life, but turned into a field goal, and the Mustangs answered back with seven points as opposed to three. I tell you what, probably not the best first quarter uh, that we've seen from the Mustangs, but definitely a better second quarter, and we'll see how the rest of this game goes. The coaches poll ranks SMU at number two, and after watching that first quarter, the, the pollsters are going to be wondering. It depends on how the Mustangs attack in this second half of play. They come out on the kickoff, and they swarm the receiver, and he is down. Liberty's going to get the ball first down and 10 from their 21-yard line. Two backs in the backfield. Quarterback making checks. He drops back, hands it off to the running back, tries to get to the outside. Nothing doing right there. The pursuit of the Mustang defense is all over that one. They lose a yard on the play. Second and 11, ball at the 20. Quarterback making checks. It's loud in here. It's rumbling. He drops back. No, he hands it off to the running back. Makes a move. Bounces it to the outside before he's finally taken down. Five-yard gain on the play. It's going to bring up a third down and six from the 25. They're going up tempo right here. Quarterback is looking to the sideline. Expect a pass. He scrambles, and he is sacked yet again. The fourth sack for the Mustang, and it is the anchor of that D-line. Omari Albaber, fourth and 15 right here for Liberty. And they're not going to send anybody. No risk taking a flag on this one. Lavender is going to call for the fair catch, but the Mustangs will take over first and 10 from the 49. Yeah, very good defensive stand to come out of halftime. Maybe that's the momentum that they need to really take control of this game and put this one away. Jennings in the shotgun. Man goes in motion. Hands off to Martin, who has some blockers. And just as we've seen him consistently do all year, runs for a seven, eight yard game. It's going to be second down and three. Ball at the 44 yard line. Jennings in the gun. Drops back. Hands off to Martin. Martin has some blockers. Has some green grass. Tries to make a man miss. He's wrapped up and taken down. But now before he gains enough for the Mustang, first down. First and 10 Mustangs. Ball at the 35 yard line. Hand off to Martin. No, Jennings going to keep it. Call his own number. Stiff arms a guy before he's wrestled down for a four yard gain on the play. He's rushed the ball six times today for four yards. His longest run was 14, but because of those sacks, negates some of those yardage. Mustangs come out in the shotgun. Changing formation a bit. Second down and six from the 31. Jennings in the gun. He runs out. They run an option, and Martin is tackled in the backfield. Luckily, no, he didn't get back to line of scrimmage. He actually lost three yards on the play. It's going to bring up a third and 10. Ball at the 35-yard line. Jennings in the empty set. Quarterback drops back. He has time to throw. Throws it into double coverage. Lucky that one wasn't picked off, and it's going to bring up a fourth and 10. Yeah, Mustangs are up in this one, and we tend to see where they kind of dive into the playbook a little bit when they have a comfortable lead, and that's a real good sign of them being confident. Going for it on fourth and 10, he hits a man, and it's complete. Jennings, whoa, he lasered that one in there to the tight end, and that is complete for a Mustang first down. Well, when you have a kicker that can't kick the ball well, you may as well go for it. First down and 10, hand off to Martin. He skates to the outside. Seven-yard gain on the play, and we have a Mustang down on the play. That's unfortunate to have a guy go down this early in the season. You hope he's okay. Second and three, ball at the seven-yard line. Jennings in the gun, hands off to Martin. Martin has nothing but room in front of him. Takes four defenders with him into the end zone for the Mustang touchdown. Awesome job right there. Very dependable young man. They really love this kid, and he loves being here. Big addition to the Mustang offense is they acquired him out of the transfer portal last year, and he's been nothing but a blessing for this Mustang offense. The senior LJ Martin goes up to 72 yards on the day. The Mustangs come out for the extra point attempt, and it's good. And just like that, the tide has turned. The Mustangs go up by 22. Mustangs set the kickoff.
Liberty brings it out. They already start with good field position. They bring the ball up to the 23-yard line. Comes out. Liberty in the shotgun. Quarterback first and 10. Ball at the 23-yard line. Drops back. Hits a man in the flats. And he's going to gain about a yard, yard on the plate. And that's going to bring up a second down. Speeding up the tempo a little bit here. Second and nine. Ball at the 24-yard line. Quarterback making some checks. Hands off to the running back who jukes behind the line of scrimmage. He doesn't have anywhere to go. And he's wrapped up for a one-yard gain on the play. And since he's broken that big run, they've really shut down this run game. Third down and eight for Liberty. Ball at the 25. Quarterback sends the man in motion. Drops back. Has time to throw. Lobs it downfield. And it is picked. Picked off by the Mustangs, and he has nothing but green grass in front of him. One man to beat. He jukes, he breaks a tackle, and he is finally wrestled down at the 15 yard line. And that this kid has been going off for the Mustangs all year on defense as they come up with their second interception of the day. Amazing play right here by Caden Jenkins. Man, he dropped back. He had a big game last week against Florida State, also getting some interceptions. A very patient guy, one of their solid cornerbacks who's also a senior. The Mustangs are going to take over with momentum here. Two minutes and 51 seconds left to go in the third quarter. Martin gets the ball, makes a guy miss before he stumbles down to the two-yard line. They're going to go up tempo right here. Expect for them to give it to him right back again, and they do. He tries to stretch it. And he's tackled for no gain on the play. And that's going to bring up a second and goal for the Mustangs. They come out in the power eye set. Jenkins, Jennings under center, drops back, hands it off to Pope. Pope makes a man miss, and he's knocked into the end zone for a Mustang touchdown. Yeah, I tend to get those names messed up. You got Jennings, you got Jenkins, a lot of names that sound the same. And all of these guys are playmakers for the Mustangs. Even their backup running back, Pope, who comes in to give Martin a spell, and he gets into the end zone. Mustang set for the extra point attempt. The kick is up and it is good. Three plays, 15 yards in less than 30 seconds. The Mustangs answer back after yet another interception. And that's something that's very key that you like to see. You want to get turnovers. Turnovers are always amazing for a team to get. But what makes them even more special is when you're able to turn those turnovers into points. And even better points, six and seven points over three. Liberty comes out. Two minutes left to go in the third quarter. First down and 10. Mustangs running away with this one. They're in the gun. Hand off to running back. He makes a man miss. He has green grass. And it is closed up quickly. And his biggest gain since the first quarter of an eight-yard gain. It's going to bring up second down and two. Ball at the 24-yard line. Liberty in the gun. Drops back. Hands off to the running back. And he is met in the backfield. Loss of yardage on the play. That's going to bring up a third down and three. Chambers for the Mustangs on the tackle. They're coming out in that 4 2 5 defense where they like to create pressure. Tries to throw it into the flats on the RPO. Nothing going right there. Big time Caden Jenkins comes up and saves the day. And that's going to bring up a fourth and three. Liberty set the punt. Ball at the 23 yard line. Gets a clean kick. Lavender's going to call a fair catch on this one. And the Mustangs will take over at the 44 yard line. I can only expect the Mustangs to come out, maybe take a shot here, maybe dive into their playbook a little bit. You got a comfortable lead. Uh, it's a really good time to get some of those other guys into the game right here. Martin has been taking a bruising, and you're going to expect to need him later in the season as well. As they do, bring in the backup quarterback into the game. SMU hands off to Brown, the sophomore running back. He makes a move, and he falls ahead. And this is a guy, Kyson Brown, the junior, is uh, pretty fast. This guy can run. He can really, really run with the wind on this play. Hand off to the back again. He gets up the sideline, tries to make a man miss before he's finally taken down. Big gain on the play, and it'll bring up a first down for the Mustangs. Kyson Brown is one of those backs that if he gets in the space and he gets going, he's gone. Pope, the running back, handoff, first down, makes a man miss, jukes outside before he's finally taken down at the 10-yard line. Polk with 85 rushes and nine attempts. Mustangs come out in the empty set. Quarterback, dive on this play. Touchdown, SMU. 
the backup quarterback gets into the game and he shows that, hey, I can run a little bit. He's not as a fast guy as you would see from Jennings, but Luster is a guy that they, they you know, have some promise for for the future. The extra point attempt is good and there's going to be a flag on the play. It's going to be roughing the kicker and that'll be enforced on the kickoff. The Mustangs in the third quarter with a scoring go up by 36. The number two rated SMU Mustangs into the third quarter passing yards 274 to 214 pass. Still fairly balanced for the most part. That's one of those things where you look at it and say the Mustangs are doing what they want to do. Tainted by that first quarter, man. The Mustangs have turned it on ever since, and they are all gas, no breaks right here. The defense is playing phenomenally right now. The offense is just being as electrifying as ever. Only one turnover so far on the day for them. Two for the Mustangs. Liberty comes out in the shotgun. Quarterback gets the ball, has time. He throws it to a check down, and he is leveled for a loss of yardage on the play. Great open field tackle by Chambers because the running back after him, it was nowhere else. I mean, he had nothing but green grass. Liberty in the gun, second and 12 from the 23. Empty formation, has time to throw, throws it downfield, complete to a wide receiver. 13-yard gain on the play. Good enough for a Flames first down. Liberty will come out, empty set, first and 10, ball at the 43, making some checks, Mustang defense moving around, he drops back, he's scrambling, he throws it up, and it is almost intercepted, knocked down, it's going to be incomplete, but there's a flag on the play, roughing the passer on the defense, and that is going to give the Flames an automatic first down, wow. You, as a coach, you're upset, you want those guys to pull up, but you got to love the tenacity and speed that they're trying to get to the ball with. First and 10 from the 43. Quarterback gets the ball, play fakes, drops back, scrambles, and he's going to toss it up after being drilled. It goes out of bounds. No gain, nothing going there. Liberty's going to lose it down. It's going to bring up second and 10. Ball at the 43-yard line. Quarterback in the gun. He's going to drop back. He hands off. Nope, he's going to keep it and throws it. It's complete. The number 10 down, and he's going to score. Liberty, the backup quarterback in the game, on the play action, freezes the safeties and throws a touchdown pass. And is that going to give them a little bit of life? I don't quite know if it's going to give them a little bit of life. I think this one is a little bit too far gone. But you, you'd like to see your team come out and fight in the second half and, you know, answer back whenever everything seems to be going against them. Colorado State pulls the upset against Texas Tech, 31-28, 17-ranked Texas Tech. And I tell you what, the Mustangs game looked very similar. I mean, this was probably one of the ugliest first quarters that they've had in a long time. And if you watched the first quarter, you would probably think, put the Mustangs on upset alert. But ever since, they have come out. They've played well defensively. Uh, they've played well offensively. I mean, they gave up the big play there for a touchdown. But aside from that, since the first quarter, they've been playing like a number two ranked team. Martin's going to get the ball. He's going to run outside, and he's drilled down. Eight-yard gain on the play. It's going to bring up second down and two. Ball at the 47-yard line, and the Mustangs are taking their time and using that clock. Luster in the shotgun. Hands off to Martin. Nope, it's a play fake. He has time. He throws it downfield just out of reach of the wide receiver who was covered, and that ball is going to fall incomplete. Third down and two, 47-yard line. Expect to run up the middle. They do. They give it to Brown. He has blockers, and he gains four yards on the play. Good enough for a Mustang first down. 27 to 56, three minutes left to go in the game. Luster comes out in the gun. Hands off to Brown, who breaks a tackle. Nope, he's going to be wrapped up. Five-yard gain on the play. It's going to bring up a second down and five from the 43-yard line. Mustangs coming out in doubles. That famous beer and shoot offense. Luster's going to drop back. Surprisingly going to pass. He's going to air it out and in and out of the hands of the wide receiver, Shetron, who's been a sure-handed guy. Very rare miss from Shetron that you tend to see him bring those in so many times right here. And Shetron, the go-back receiver, makes up for it on the completion. Pass is going to be good enough for a Mustang first down. 
Mustangs are going to get the ball first and 10. It's going to be from the 19-yard line. Brown at the running back position. They're going to give it to him. He's going to try to get outside. And he's going to go down. Four-yard gain on the play. Brings up second and six from the 15. Two wide receivers to the field. Going to give it to Martin. Martin, nothing going right there. Probably a gain of one yard on the play. And he's approaching the century mark in rushing yards. They got two backs right now, both of which are close to the century mark. With less than a minute to go in this game, I don't see him getting it. Luster drops back in the shotgun, throws it, complete touchdown, SMU. Coatsart finally gets him one, and he gets into the end zone. I think that's his second touchdown of the day. And with that score, the Mustangs go up to make this score 62-27. to 27. And I know people will say, hey, why are you throwing the ball? You're up by so much, but... Guys, Mustangs have the backups in. The backups still need to be efficient. They still need to run plays. They still need to run the offense. It is the defense's job to stop them. So that is why, you know, hey, run the offense. These are the guys that are going to be playing next year. Jennings is going to be gone. Martin's going to be gone, you know. So you want these guys to do what they do and run the offense. And it's already a very explosive offense. And the Mustangs are going to come away right here with the big-time win against, well, I wouldn't call it a big time win. Liberty was going to go 0-3. The Mustangs improved to 3-0. and And, I mean, is it a decisive win? Yeah, I mean, it is a decisive win. I mean, like I said, you watch the first quarter of this game, and the Mustangs struggled out the gate. They really did. But ever since, they have turned it on and shown people why they're the number two rated team in the land. And, well, for a while, was the number one rated team. Liberty drops back and makes a pass, and he makes a guy miss. They're in the prevent defense. Third down and two ball at the 38-yard line. Quarterback making checks from Liberty. Drops back. Has time to throw. Slings it downfield. It's complete. No, it's going to be out of the hands of the receiver. And that's going to bring up a fourth down and two. Liberty set the punt. 20 seconds left to go in this game. They probably could have ran the clock out, but they're going to give the ball back to the Mustangs. Lavender's going to try to bring it out. Nothing gained on that. Probably two to three yards. And the Mustangs should just come out and kneel this one. 20 seconds or 15 seconds left. First and 10 for the 31. Luster comes out in the victory formation, kneels it, and that's going to be the ball game. Your number two SMU Mustangs win 63 to 27 and they improved to three and oh you look at the tail of the tape right there i mean 10 points to seven in the first quarter and the mustangs just caught fire putting up 28 points in the second quarter and 26 in the third quarter player of the game is shetron four catches 207 yards and two touchdowns he is electric. He is the guy that gave the burst to this offense that kind of got the ball rolling. And it's really fun to see whenever you can have a team that can come out in the third quarter and put up the amount of points that the Mustangs put up. They did the same thing against Florida State, which propelled them to a win even in that game. Now, if you can find a way to put all four quarters together, you might can have something special right there. Yep, Liberty definitely... Uh, Definitely had the Mustangs number in the first half. And, you know, ever since then, Mustangs turned it on and they came away with the victory. Very good game right there by the Mustangs showing, you know, everybody, hey, we're still here. Uh, got a little scared in the first quarter, but turned it around and turned it on. And next week, uh, the Mustangs. I think they're going to be at home next week. Are they going to be at home or they're going to be on the road? Let's see uh, what their schedule entails. You got Chambers getting ACC Defensive Player of the Week. One interception, five tackles as well. That young man made plays all over the field. And then the ACC Offensive Player of the Week, Shetron, four receptions, 207 yards, and two touchdowns by the senior wide receiver. Him and Coates are both seniors. And next game is going to be at home against Arizona 2-0. We'll see you next time, Mustang faithful.